Whether you're watching or taking part in sport, at some point you might see or hear something that seems questionable to you. But how do you know what's okay and what's not okay? And if something you saw or experienced was not okay, what can you do about it? This is where the flag tool for sport comes in. It can help you better understand a behavior or a situation. Was it okay or not okay? It also helps you figure out what to do next so that you can be empowered to help create safer spaces for everyone. It all starts with you. What is the flag tool for sport? It's a web-based, completely anonymous, responsive survey. It's designed for you to play around with, and you don't need to enter any personal information. It's a tool to figure out how serious a behavior was and what you can do about it. The flag tool isn't meant to be too in-depth and is not intended to replace legal advice. It's not the place to file a report, but it is the place where you can find guidance on what to do next and help on how to do it. So, how does it work? First, think of a situation. It can be real or imagined. Based on that situation, you're going to answer six multiple choice questions and four yes-no follow-up questions. It should take less than five minutes. At the end of the survey, you'll get a result in the form of a flag color. This color shows if the behavior was okay or not. From green, meaning okay, through to yellow, which is borderline, to red, which is not okay, and finally, black, which is seriously not okay. Now let's use the flag tool to evaluate our simple scenario. Teenagers are playing at a local soccer field. One of the kids, Taylor, has hair which is dyed a bright color. Hey, funny hair, go warm the bench. What? Yeah, funny hair, funny hair, haha. <laughs> Their team wins, but nobody celebrates with Taylor. Taylor goes back to the change room, sad and crying. The coach doesn't appear to be aware of the situation. Let's work through this scenario with the flag tool. Before we start to use the tool, remember that we want to think about these questions from the perspective of the person who might have been harmed. So in this case, Taylor, who was made fun of by their teammates, was their consent. Did Taylor agree to be treated this way? No one agrees to being bullied, and it's not okay in any circumstance. So let's click on not okay, and that brings up the next button. Was it voluntary? Did they have a choice to participate or not in that behavior? Taylor didn't volunteer to be made fun of, but was still bullied. So we'll click on not okay and go next. Was there equality? This is about if there is an imbalance of power, such as between a coach and an athlete or between a group and an individual. In our scenario, there's a difference in group size, but even in one-on-one -on -one bullying, there is a power imbalance. So we click on not okay and go next. Was the behavior in context for sport? Was it appropriate for these teammates to make fun of and exclude Taylor? No, it's not. For this question, it can help to think, would the same behavior be appropriate in other places, like school or a workplace? Bullying is never okay. So we click not okay and go next. Was it developmentally appropriate? In this case, was it normal and appropriate for the age or level of ability of the athlete involved? Since bullying is never okay, we click not okay and go next. What was the impact? While we can't know exactly how Taylor felt or what the impact was, we did notice that Taylor had tears in their eyes. It's obvious Taylor was upset, more than just annoyed or uncomfortable. We click not okay and go next. Now, we move on to the follow-up questions. If any of these questions are answered with a yes, the flag tool will bump up the result on our scale of seriousness. So, in this case, was there intimacy or sexual touch? No. Did the behavior happen more than once or last a long time? All we know is the incident from this one day, so let's put no. Did the person realize that the other person was feeling annoyed or scared? Was the group aware that Taylor was upset? We don't know in this case, so let's put, I don't know. Did the person realize that the other person was being hurt? Again, we don't really know, so let's put, I don't know, just to be safe. Now, we click here to see the results. In this case, the behavior in our scenario is a red flag, which means it's inappropriate and unacceptable. So what can you do about it? If you scroll down, you can find out, and you'll see some resources that can help you in the moment. If you want to find out how to access mental health support quickly without having to go through the tool, 
there's a link here. If you'd like guidance on how and where you could report an incident, you can click directly here. Pro tip, save the flag tool to your phone's home screen so it's always at your fingertips. Hopefully you'll find this tool useful when you need to figure out if what you saw was okay. We all have a role to play in making sports safer, and the flag tool is here to help you take the first steps to change sport culture for the better. For more information and safety in sport resources, you can visit playsafebc.ca.